Hi dear traders and investors, today is Tuesday, August 9th, and I'm happy to greet you online and share a fresh market review prepared specially for InstaForex. Without any introduction, let's discuss my trading ideas on charts. Sadly, the trading ideas that I planned yesterday have not worked out well. My trading instruments closed yesterday with wrong bears, defying my expectations. Where starting with gold? Yesterday was playing short positions, but the asset closed with partial engulfing. Americans were actively buying gold. Yesterday I made brave efforts to go short on gold after the non-farm payrolls. The thing is that the middle left some levels in the American session after the non-farm payrolls. These levels opened the door for further growth. I tried to sell gold yesterday, but closed my positions mainly because the price broke the post in FP high. I foresee higher highs ahead. By the way, Americans also bought the middle before the non-farm payrolls. For example, here. Today gold has left a double bottom. I guess it will be hit soon, so we should rush to sell gold. I foresee a breakout of weekly highs. I remind you that the crucial event of the week is inflation data, which is due tomorrow. I want to wait until the inflation data and I'm not going to bet against gold. I see some room for a decline. Perhaps the price will jump before it falls to this level sooner or later. The question is to enter the market at the ultimate high. The euro-dollar pair also ruined my ceiling trading plan. Yesterday, a pin bar popped up on the daily chart. If you trade betting on the dollar strength against gold and the euro, you should divide your funds between the two trading instruments. I sold the retracement a couple of times yesterday. The day closed to my expectation. Today, I also planned to go short. In the European session, the path fell first, but then I saw buying pressure and closed my positions. I don't know what will happen next. Perhaps the pair will hit highs like I suggest about gold. I cannot predict how high the price will climb. The inflation data tomorrow might push the price down, and I see nice targets downwards. I don't know how the euro dollar pair will close today. Probably it will leave another pin bar. I see lots of money to take from stop losses. My idea is to catch the right market entry point based on a proper impulse. The pound sterling. The pound sterling went up and down. Yesterday I tried to catch it from pin bars to offset my stop losses on gold and break even positions on the euro dollar pair. Today the pound climbed in the European session and I don't know how to trade it. The daily chart doesn't clear up the situation. The climax pin bar is over. I reckon such uncertainty are, uh, arises ahead of the inflation data tomorrow. The dollar yen pair is easing the pace of growth. Such a slowdown suggests a downward correction. Now the price considers with the 50% Fibonacci level. There is a pin bar at the 50% Fibonacci level and I assume the pair might make a big move down. Importantly, all dollar-related instruments will be set in motion tomorrow after the US inflation report. I warn you that to avoid big risky bets today in anticipation of the inflation data that will determine further trends and suggest trading ideas. You will be able to catch the impulse to your liking. That's all I wanted to tell you today. See you next week. Bye-bye.